UFO and alien abduction on the Pascagoula River. You may have heard this story from the 70s. Two men fishing on the river say aliens grabbed them. Now, 45 years later, for the first time, a witness is coming forward saying she saw this alien encounter. It scared the living hell out of you. But I still sometimes have a few nightmares about it. I really think that I was abducted by some kind of life form from another planet. Calvin Parker is sticking by his story. On October 11th, 1973, he and now deceased Charles Hickson say while fishing, they were pulled onto a spacecraft, examined, and then put back down. Their story has made Pascagoula known around the world. They'll say, oh, that's where that UFO encounter was. Rebecca Davis with Main Street Pascagoula welcomes the attention. She's working to place a historical marker across the river from where the alleged abduction occurred. It's time to bring these things out and, and be proud of our heritage because it is a part of it. On the same October 1973 night, not far from where the marker will be placed on the east bank of the river, Maria Blair was waiting with her husband, Jerry Blair, for him to leave on a boat to work offshore. What she saw that night is something she's telling for the first time publicly. It was a warm night. It was like 70, 73 degrees. And so it was kind of easy to sit in the car and just wait for the captain to get there. While they were waiting, Jerry went to sleep and Maria saw what she describes as strange a blue light streaking back and forth. You're looking up at the sky and you looking at stars and you're looking for the Big Dipper and all kinds of things and that's when I seen it rise up in the sky over here. Where I seen it come up was probably over in this area somewhere, the blue light, and it was over, just like I said, right over where they were abducted. At the time, she thought it was a plane or a helicopter. You don't think it's UFO. The blue light continued moving without noticeable sound for about 30 minutes. And when it went out of sight, we hear this loud water, just like something just fell in the water. It was a loud splash. The water goat just riffling. And then when I looked down, that's when I seen it looked like a person in the water. I'm looking right, it was like right below me. Maria still doesn't know what she saw in the water and didn't think much of it until the next day when she heard about what Parker and Hickson had told the Jackson County Sheriff's Department. I was watching two men being abducted by a UFO. Despite believing what she saw was a UFO, she never talked about it to anyone except her family. Maria's husband wanted her to keep quiet. When she would talk about it, I'd tell her, shut up. I said, people are going to think you're crazy. But after seeing a recent media report about the abduction, Maria got the courage to come forward. Her motivation? To give Calvin Parker and Charles Hickson's story validation. I always wanted to talk to them, just them, about it. And just see, you know, let them know that I knew that they weren't lying because they weren't lying. In 1973, Maria Blair and Calvin Parker were separated by a river. Now, with a 45-year-old secret washed under the bridge, Maria met Calvin face-to-face -face for the first time. How are you? Good to see you. Now, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, well. That's How my husband, do? Jerry. Last time I nice saw to meet you was you. on Johnny Carson. Yeah. When was that, about 74 or 75? 75. Yeah. We've been friends, we just didn't know we it. We just didn't know it, that's right. It didn't take long for the conversation to turn to what's brought Calvin and Maria together. Yeah, it's burnt right in my mind. That, that is night. mine too. I seen it go up from right here, and that's when I seen it in the air uh -huh. with the blue light, and it took off that way, and it that's followed along right. that river. Calvin's story has been questioned and doubted for most of his life. He says he had lost all hope of a witness coming forward, but now he and Maria both have a sense of relief. I want to so thank glad. you for coming forward. I, I can now put my mind at ease that I've told what I knew. Before I die, I'll at least have a, somebody that come forward and ease my mind a little bit. Three people have now told their stories of the UFO on the Pascagoula River. Calvin Parker has written a book about it, and he doesn't think these will be the last stories told of extraterrestrial life on Earth.
Well, it's foolish to look up in the sky and see all these stars and all these stars has got planets around them and think that we're the only life. All right, so wow. there's a different take on it. That was quite the story. I'm impressed. I don't know. I don't really know what to think. Yeah, well, it is up for interpretation it there. Is. Now, plans are in the works to unveil the historical marker I talked about there in the story on the banks of the Pascagoula River with a ceremony in June. The marker will say the Pascagoula UFO story remains the best documented case of alien abduction.